Hi, I'm Brian Segnet with Xerox, and I'm here with Michelle Fornell, a senior systems engineer on the Xerox Versant 180 Press. Hey, we're going to take a look underneath the. We're going to take a look under the hood, and I've asked Michelle to point out some things. So, Michelle, we know we've got uh, 80 pages a minute. We can run uh, 350 GSM. Let's go ahead and let's talk a little bit about the paper path and look at the fuser. If, if I started off, one of the biggest things is IRA, Integrated Registration Alignment. How does that happen automatically on the press? So obviously when your machine leaves manufacturing, we have a baseline we, uh, that the, the, the mechanical part of the machine is a known factor, okay? So we all know that every piece of paper, every type of media reacts a little bit differently in the paper path. So what we do is the paper enter the, the pre-registration area, which is called uh, IRA, and it, it use multiple sensor in the device, and the main, main one is the CIS here, paper stop, and at that point we measure many location of that paper, and all this information is re recorded and sent to the controller. And so that's happening automatically, right? So whether I'm running 52 GSM or 350 GSM. It, it's very depending on what you enter program for that's what I do when I set my stock so then what happens so I, I I'm I'm all registered aligned and then where does the paper go from there paper goes keep keep going okay and now uh, there's a lot of things happening in the bag zero graphically mm -hmm. laser transfer this to the uh, to the drums okay uh, we can show that pretty quickly here the image is transferred to the drum from the lasers okay one per color okay the developer housing Content the toner and uh, material called a developer who make sure that it's all mixed up and the color is perfectly. And these are light sensitive drums, but they're all customer replaceable, yes. right? For some reason, there's a scratch or a spot that customer don't want to live with. I could just go ahead and pop it right out. I don't need to call service. Terrific. Okay. At that point, the image is transferred from the drum to the IBT, the intermediate belt transfer okay. systems. So I'm using lasers. I'm writing it down onto the belt, right? So I've got my image. Yeah, and it's it's going on the IBT belt like mm -hmm. we just described and it's transferred to the paper at this point here called the second PTR, bias transfer roll. So a bias transfer roll, that's uh, bias, so it's electricity, so I'm giving an electrical zap. Yep. Okay. to make sure the paper transfer from... So it'd probably increase it with 350 GSM or a linen yes. stock yes, or something yes, like yes, that. Yes, Because I know that through our SICA, our simple image quality adjustments, I can go in and do image transfers. So if I've got a challenging stock like, uh, you can, you uh, can, you like can, a textured stock, yeah, I can go ahead and I can increase it. that yeah. automatically yep, and yep, zap it. Yep. Okay. Then we go to the next station, which is the fuser assembly. So this is the fuser right here. Yep. And I, uh, we call it a compact belt fuser. What does that mean? What does that mean is compared to the traditional role that mm -hmm. we, we were very successful in the past, okay, to achieve our, our print quality, we, we found out over the years that there's side effect to this, mm -hmm. image quality defect that came out with this new uh, technology. So I'm going to get a better image quality on this? Yes. Yeah, and yes. I'm going to be able to do uh, envelopes, right? Do I need yeah. to change the fuser at no, all? No, you don't need to. So don't. same fuser? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then you, you're going to eliminate a lot of uh, image quality defect, okay? Because using the, uh, the belt, the uh, temperature is more uniform around, okay? And so from print to print, you maintain that temperature without variation. Great, so nice, consistent, uh, and it'll, it'll heat up, it'll cool down fast, yep. terrific. Yep, and then we go to the next station here, next loca location, before you go to the inverter, is a decurler, okay, built-in. So a built-in decurler, so automatically, I don't need to order anything, I get a decurler every in machine, my base Every machine base engine. come with a decurler, uh, yes. How does it know what to do? Okay, so again, the way you program your, your media in the paper tray, mm -hmm. we have a bunch of tables of with contain, uh, containing all those algorithms. Okay, we know that uh, a coated paper, 220 GSM, will react this way under this temperature. So we change the way the roll interact with the paper. So with those contact image sensors, it knows a lot. It knows what's happening. Yep. It knows yep. maybe the temperature of the fuser. Yep. And so it's always kind of calculating heat, humidity, and I'm adjusting. Yeah. And then we continue back. If you go simplex, it goes straight to the, the next device. So, so a simplex sheet, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pass through and it's going to come here. What's going to happen with a, with a duplex sheet? Duplex, there's a, a, a device here called the inverter. Mm -hmm. It just curl, And it's going to go ahead and okay. flip around. And it go back into this uh, uh, transport here to go back and 
And it's, so it's going to flip the sheet and yes. do it. So and, it, and go back to the same. On same a 180, scenario. I can do 300 GSM auto duplex. Yep. I could do 350 simplex. Yep. That's because we've got a really pretty tight piece of piece of real estate here, yep. right? So, so paper's kind of stiff. If I want to auto duplex 350. I would go to a version 3100, right? Because I've got a much bigger paper it's path. It's much larger, and okay. the, uh, the, the radius is much bigger. But my fuser is going to be the same on yep. a 180 yep. as, a, as yes. on a 3100, yes. so my image quality is almost identical. Correct. Okay. Hey, terrific. Great to have a look under the hood. If uh, folks want some more information, go to Xerox.com. If you go to Xerox.com, you'll actually find a white paper on the Versant family. And you can even dig a little bit deeper. We've got a white paper on the Xerox Versant 180 Press. And it will go through a lot of this technical information. Michelle, thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks.